All right, welcome back, everybody. Uh, so, last episode we got the memory crystals, and I was extremely tired, and uh, apparently I was getting sick. Feel better this time, so this uh, this should be a little, a little, little bit better, at least a little bit. Uh, off camera, what? a lot of shields. I'll take them. Uh, off camera, I did a couple of things. Uh, firstly, we found more artifacts. Uh, I want to say we sold Apollo on camera, but we found that, if it's not mentioned. I think we got a few item upgrades here and there. Um, yeah, somewhere, maybe? I'm sure we did, and that makes sense in a second. But we found Poseidon. Can't use it. We're about to sell it. Uh, we are no longer using Mordred. It's a it's a fair dagger. It really is solid. You know, it, it, on a one to one basis, yes, Vampiric is nice, but it's not necessary. Plus, of darkness has that. Furthermore, two D three plus eight. A standard one is just plus seven. Mordred's fine, it's just not that good. So we're about to go sell that. And then the hilarity is that we found another Guinevere. That is uh, some crazy RNG. Because it's the most powerful item in the game, and we can't use it. So... I'm just gonna throw it on somebody for the spell points, and that's about all it's good for. Definitely a little unfortunate. But 30 spell points is pretty nice, so I'll take that. And I think we were close to some break points. We have green, we we'll need that, luck doesn't matter. Uh, blue, and well, luck doesn't matter. Personality. Looks like you. There we go. Uh, I cleared out a lot of dragon sand and a lot of uh, hermit's isle. So we are a few levels up. Just definitely solid. And uh. That's all just to kind of set us up for going to Varn. Uh, we all, we're all keenly aware. Varn is very hard. Uh, it's going to be easier this time. But I'm not expecting it to be easy by any means. In fact, actually, I want to get a buff up. Let's go Craig Spire. Also, you may have used this well, so... I'm not going to touch it this time. These extra levels are going to be incredibly helpful. And... If we just throw on a couple buffs... That wouldn't be the worst thing. Uh, I still plan on more or less speedrunning Farn. I don't know that we're going to be beating the game today. But if we do... That would be very cool. Um, yeah, while I'm thinking about it, we need an Earth Master. We had some skills up too. We uh, we leveled up a bit, so just whatever looks different. We put a lot of points in fire magic to maybe put points Greetings. somewhere else. Greetings and salutations. Oh, right, I forgot about that quest. Greetings and salutations! Greetings um, and salutations! I'll, I'll get around to Hello. that eventually. Greetings and salutations! Oh, uh, where is Earthmaster? Greetings and salutations! Greetings! Ah, oh, boy. Greetings and salutations! I know, Hello? I know he's here. Greetings and salutations! I... Greetings and salutations! Greetings and salutations! Fame. Please stop. Greetings and salutations. <laughs> Greetings, Greetings and salutations. Hello. Okay, that's, that's a little more pleasant. <laughs> Hello. 
I, uh, I was watching a video. Uh, is, is this is very Hello. trippy, I guess. I was watching a video on uh, YouTube about Might Magic. I don't, I don't even know what exactly it was about. But uh, while I was you know, falling asleep Hello. watching this video, it uh, Hello. Greetings. it uh, switched to a different video that was like all the voice lines or something. Hello. And at one point, it's all they're like, you know, receiving damage Hello. or blowing themselves up, those types of things. There you are. Good show. Blowing themselves up and all that kind of thing. So there's all these weird noises. Man, I was, I was half asleep and very confused. Five hours. Um. Fire, because why not? Hold because why not? Um, electricity and shield, why not? Uh, throw a bless on there. A heroism. You know what? A lucky day for good measure. To so all we're missing is poison. That's our first time fully buffing up. And, uh,. Missing one. Cold. Electricity. Fire. Magic. Poison. Either which way. Let's uh let's go heal back to full. And we have thirteen hours. We don't have a ton of time, but we should be able to get through this. Alright, full sand. I may regret this later. I want to reset that beacon. Yeah, so a lot of the dragons here are dead now. Um, that big group of dragons over near those two chests. I wasn't able to get many of them. Uh, they fly and all those things. The meteor shower didn't work terribly well. Oh, uh, this is going to be horrible. I feel it now. I don't like this. Play a Primus guidebook real fast to the genie section. I f don't remember who is resistant to what. Freeze are fire, the blue ones are cold, I think, and purple's gotta be storm. Right. Ice, lightning, and fire, but they're all magic new. So implosion is likely going to be our best bet. Uh, across the board, our air magic is fine. But when we can use fire, we want to do that. Our fire magic is incredibly strong. Oh, what happened there? and a freebie. Have to use Implosion on these guys. Implosion's a very powerful spell, but... It, um, it does 
physical damage, and a lot of things are just simply physical immune, not immune, uh, are just very physical resistant, and it kind of complicates everything a little bit. Are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah, I suppose that's what I get for using a weak spell. Oh. We are really burning a lot more. Guys over there. Afraid he had a gem. Well, anything besides the Afridi isn't a problem. Unless we roll super low. Now, these guys. I just don't like them. They have a lot of health, a lot of resistance. They're a powerful enemy, and I still don't quite know why they're here. <clears throat> but uh, the next thing I'm going to do on the channel is either a another Let's Play. Yeah, I should probably read that, but I'm not going to. Um, either another Let's Play, <clears throat> and I don't know what I would pick. Uh, yeah. The All Knights and then this one. This one is just challenge runs. One second, now I'm gonna go get a bottle of water. Okay. <coughs> <coughs> Definitely still uh, a little bit sick, but. Yes. Gonna survive. Uh, what am I saying? The, the All Nights run was definitely a challenge run. I feel like we still made it work though, so that's good. Uh, for Druids, I wasn't expecting this run to be hard, and frankly, it wasn't. And in fact, we're still in the first year. We're on track to beat this game in one of the fastest times ever, I think. Um, the typical playthroughs take... roughly... Roughly three years. What was that sound? Hey, there we go. Oh, we started to move. Nice. Nice. Now, just the hard ones. Nice. Now, we don't actually need to fight these guys. Um, I'm going to. We really don't need to. Okay, I lost my train of thought again. Um, right, so this wasn't a hard run by any means. I'm making uh, for my usual playthroughs. Great time. And I wasn't even really that concerned about doing this in you know, a fast time. Uh, what could be an interesting thing is to see how much I can truly min-max using everything available and see how few days I can possibly beat the game in. Uh, I can see a lot of issues with that, but um, it would be an interesting one. So I, I'm either going to, the next thing will either be probably a solo run, probably just one sorcerer, and just uh, kind of see what happens. I know the game has been done with one sorcerer you know, a thousand times, that's not super crazy or anything. 
That'd be another fun, uh, you know, challenge run. And I guess you can't see it, but there's a uh, pretty, pretty heavy air quotes on that. Oh my god. I might pull up Jimmy's one more time. This is not working. They have no physical resist. Maybe we're just rolling really poorly. One of our gears broke, huh? Yes. It's a good sword. Oh, shoot. Maybe we're there to start stabbing. That's almost more effective. Oh, I'm sorry. Very silly. Oh. Anyways. Ooh. Oh. Oh, it's a light spell. Um. We can down him pretty quick. There we go. Also, we should probably get a beacon set in here. We're gonna have to retreat at some point. So of all of these... Oh, also it's November and I did get the poison. Or, yeah, the poison. Uh, so eel infested waters. Uh, we have no more use there. We don't need Excalibur. If I get it one day, okay, cool. But we don't need that for anything else. So of all these, I think that's the most expendable. Unless one hour per point of skill. Well, actually, we could get like we could get two hours out of this because we have that. That might be long enough. Let's see if that works. So we set the beacon. We have two hours. Teleport out. And now we should be able to teleport right back in. Hmm. Funny how that works. Uh, we don't have amber or crystal skulls or anything right now. Uh, so we'll have to figure that one out when we get to it. But that's a, a pretty low priority right now. Does good damage. Incinerate though, that is a killer. God, man, that was good. There we go. Duh. Uh, it's one of these doors. Bunch of cold resist, that's always fun. A skull. And the flame door key. That's what we're that's what we're here for. Ah, two pretty bad rolls. Let me get you back up. Huh? Not bad dagger. It's not good for us. But it's not bad. Over here. Yeah, that's a mistake. I should have done this. Let's see if we can just down him real fast. Ah. 
Nice. And just stab a little bit. I think there's a couple fire uh, enchantments, but we'll survive. Nice to meet you. So the next thing that we need is the Biblioteca key. And that is down this hallway and to the right, I think. Take a lot of damage. They are really fire me. I don't like that. If we can boost them down. That'll, that'll be good enough for me. Fixed. Don't like when they hit my fangs. Oh, got one. And another. These go oh, actually, they might just be straight up fire immune. These guys are actually just straight up fire immune. So uh, implosion works. <clears throat> implosion is working, but I think we're just going to start stabbing. Recovery time is still base 30. Yes. Suboptimal, but I don't particularly want to just stop wearing armor. Um, might not be a bad idea to go ahead and just invest a couple points into that. Poison. Oh, right. They are probably poison immune because these guys are robots or aliens or something. Um, oh, shoot. There's somebody, I think, said that uh, they're like angels or something, but I don't know how true that is. heal up again. And so we apply haste while we're at it. Haste and bless. And we can go right back in. Oh, actually, you know what? This might help too. There we go. Every little bit is probably going to count. This room. This room is going to be a little painful. Cone we can. 
off. We should probably reposition. and that looks of it. Yeah, it might have been worth it to get that amber, but we didn't. Let's see if we can drop that guy. Okay. Everybody has the same level magic, but nobody's doing very much damage. Fire me, and it's not gonna be a great way to do this. Ah, <sighs> it's blocking. If that's the case, we'll s stab a little bit. <coughs> I think half of our weapons are actually effective here. I hear was back up. your highest damage ever. I might go uh, take my main party and to see how high I can get a uh, incinerate. <coughs> Good as new. It would take some time to invest in uh, level ups. I think you need uh, like eighteen hundred skill points or something. You need a crazy amount to get um to sixty in anything. Uh, it's a bad position. Can't 
reach him. I do have an idea though. <laughs> Try that again. Nope. Too. Yeah, I just, just guys woke up this morning and said, <clears throat> let's be the bane of their existence. I've repaired it. All right. The most important thing here is to drop that guy. He's just hurting her action economy, but that's not good. The damage is so crazy. Sometimes it's, it's really solid hits. Other times it just isn't. Too well for us. Okay. man, that was good. Got him. Our healer is close to being out of mana. So if somebody goes down, we will inherently need to retreat. Good as new. Ah, don't run, please. Ah. Community. Fixed. That's fantastic. Fixed. <sighs> Man. Fixed. No luck. Okay. Yeah, of course, that's a good one. I feel like we should have more spell points, but did not invest too heavily into uh, meditation. Definitely come back to bite us just a little bit. Nice. Let's get a voice beacon down. And a tactical retreat. fast. Let's reapply that haste. There we go. 
going right back to it. I'm probably saving a ton of time, but I had to do all the resting and things. Their positions reset. Oh no. Mr. Lame. Lame. Ah, oh, classic Vaughn. No matter what you do, this dungeon's always so long. to put a few extra points into fire magic instead of something else, but it's a little late for that. Hey! Ah. Alright, now he's got these guys. Um, let's just gonna stab a little bit. Right. Concentrate that fire. So we can level up again. If we could get our hit recovery to zero on these daggers, I feel like that would be incredibly powerful. Break it down. Uh, oh, shoot. Oops. Why don't you break it down? <coughs> Daggers do outstanding damage at a very high skill level. They never do actually trump the spear and sword. Spear and Sword and Spear and Axe kind of go hand in hand. At a, a maximum level, they're incredibly similar. I think it goes this way. Because uh, if daggers would triple all the damage that you put out instead of just the dagger itself, they would easily be the best thing in the game. It's hands down, no questions. But unfortunately, they do not do that. I hope this is the right way. It looks like it is. Ah, oh, shoot. Oh no. This is a bad situation. We're going to be taking a lot of back ads. Um, 
potion should be doing way, way more damage. That's, that's, that's crazy. The same skill levels, but the damages are so different. I really have no idea how these calculations work. Also, our bliss is gone. Bless and Heroes is a very dangerous combo. It's fixed. It's fixed. Varn came out, I'm sure it was a crazy dungeon of so many people. But by my personal standards, I don't like Varn. I probably never will. I think this is the right direction. Genie's over here? run is all over the board. We get two Guinevere's. Then we get so many Guardians. Another Magic Immune. Unfortunately, there's just not any good weapons to fight him with. I've been immune to everything. They really limit our ability to actually... <coughs> oh, that's a troll. Limit our ability to fight back. I've repaired it. Limit our ability to even fight them. He was an ant stone scanner almost gone. That's good. Here was him up. And stone scan is an earth spell. So we can fight this. Right. Jin aren't that bad. See, if Implosion did that type of damage, we wouldn't even have this problem. With those guys, I'm okay with that. Yes, yes, uh -huh. uh. Yeah, we're just not gonna fight them. And we lost a buff. Which one was it? Shield, I think. And we play haste before I forget. There we go. Alright, now let's head back up into the water temple. 
do a little speed run to the bibliotheca, and we should be solid. Okay. Now let's see here. Which way is the fastest way to the water temple? Oh, I'm sorry. Kind of looks like it's going north. Yeah, let's just go north. From here, we had, um, actually, you know what, I think it would be easier to just go through the back door. Can we get the back door key? Yes. We're going to use the back door. Because uh -huh. that will avoid a lot. If we never have to go through that genie alley uh. to the west of us. That would save us a lot of trouble. Uh. Stop it. Uh. I'm still very convinced that genies are radiation elementals. You know what? I don't think I'm going to be accepting any other answer on that. So for several hundred other ones are just for nothing. Um, I think. Uh. Nope. I think this is the back door. Don't need to go that way. And we just saw the little ambush. take a key and maybe one of the codes and then the other three are in the biblioteca Those things are not poisoning anymore. 
the few things that are so aggravating. Very nice. Uh oh. I still don't know if that's a good ring or not. Like plus five levels, that um it's it's health and mana. And that's kind of all it does. So there's a solid chance that those are actually good. Oh. I just can't prove it. Oh. I'll probably find out. Uh, let's take the 19 hit points. See what happens. So we actually get one hit point off that. And we have the spell points. I, mean, I think it's I think it's a plus. Now I'm gonna be more effective if we put it somewhere that was a break point, like raw endurance. I don't know. Level's one of those things that I don't particularly like messing with like that. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's go ahead and heal again before that temple closes. use that little back entrance I typically use and that should skip almost the entirety of geniality we can skip those guys with a little jump spell So I order to play through with extra cheese. Um, let me go to the water bottle real fast. All right. Oh. Um. Hmm. Okay. Thought for like a second we got soft locked there. Alt tabbing in this game can get kind of weird sometimes. Yeah. Uh, we're good though. Anyways, unfortunately, I guess this guy will have to get killed. Is what it is. And now we're off to the biblioteca. Okay, so what we're looking for is pretty much directly below us, I think. Maybe like right here ish. A little save. And just like that. Just gonna run. Just keep moving. Oh boy. I need him to die immediately. Okay. So I didn't think to set a beacon, did I? Um, well, 
I'm gonna play through. We're kind of used to blunders, but we have an easy fix for that one. If this guy's beacon's not still up. No? Okay. Uh, quick and easy fix to that one. We're gonna town portal out. Slight detour, but it's okay. It's gonna save us a lot of time. And. Uh, oh! That was almost bad. So we can just recall this way. And we'll fly back in. I should I didn't think to set the beacon, but it's fine. I did set one. No? Okay. To a barn at night. Also, I didn't realize that we were already uh, close to an hour into this. So, we're definitely not going to be beating the game this episode. Um, I think I'm okay with that. Also, I want to go ahead and pull up the answers to this. I feel like at this point I should probably know them all, but I never do. There we go. Also, um, just the other day, I was at work, and I ran into a guy, never met him before, uh, just kind of a weird dude, uh, he gave off those kind of vibes, and I didn't really start a conversation with him, but, uh, he decided to talk to me, and he was like, hey, a horror died, this was, uh, this was a little while ago. Sulu. Yeah, so, uh, you know, he was like, a horror died. I'm like, um, who is that? McCoy. And, uh, he explained to me, he was like, Star Trek, you know? And so I was, it's like, a horror. Like, no idea who that guy is. Not a clue at all. Uh, this is K Cops, Spock. And, you know, uh, whenever he told me that it was a Star Trek thing, you know, kind of clicked because, um, you know, I, I was telling him about the Temple of Varn. And, um, there we go. Uh, Scotty. I saw about the Temple of Varn and how that's, uh, you know, relevant. It's not, like, random or anything. Because Ahura... She... She... Uh, it was a female. Um, I don't remember what her rank was, but... She was the comms officer. And, uh, I think she died a few weeks ago at, like, 80-something or something like that. She, pretty old. I never watched Star Trek. But the thing is, Arahu... I never knew how to pronounce that. And even in the first Let's Play, I think I remember trying to spell it backwards. It made no sense. It's... Uh, or, I, I misspelled that, but... Um, R, uh... Ooh. Yeah, it was a... Uh, uh, there, well, there you go. Ahura. So Blue Mind was uh, so oddly relevant. It's very strange, but uh, kind of relevant, kind of interesting. Unfortunately, the only Star Trek knowledge I have comes from this. And it's not that he was a you know huge Star Wars fan or anything, but uh, definitely one of those instances where you just kind of learn something new every day and whatnot. <gasps> in here. So yeah, uh, that happened. 
I even uh, I even pulled up the let's play just to show him that I wasn't you know crazy or anything. Okay. I'll have that. Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Starburst, we all have that. Town portal, got it. Inferno. Oh, I just bought me. Yes. Oh. There we go. Lots of new spells. So yeah, because uh, I thought that um, Aharu, or Ahura, I thought that was the Minotaur looking guy, but I still don't know who that was. Because I, I have no really way to describe him besides kind of looks like Hellboy, sort of. Couldn't tell you who it is though. Oh. Um Yeah, we can drop this guy too, why not? Might get level out of him. So I think about it, do we find the... Yeah, we did. Yeah, so not the fastest. We probably could have done all this, but I'm okay with it. It's a long dungeon. We beat it in a respectable amount of time. Didn't have to make it a two-parter, so that's always a plus. Ice Blast. I guess we all know it. Control cube uh -huh. and some random belt. All right. So we are gonna go turn this quest in and level up, and that's what we're gonna end for today. Ah. Uh, I kind of doubt that guy that I met that day that taught me that about uh, a horror, if I'll ever watch this. But it would certainly be kind of interesting. Also, one last thing. I want to make sure that all of our um, stuff is squared away. Level up here. Yes, yeah, so we're still closed. We're still good on time. Ah, oh, played myself. Let's, uh, let's do that one more time. Recall to Craig Spire. Step one is to reset the beacon. And we're gonna have to wait anyway. Ah, oh, shoot. Well, one more day it is. There we go. And now to the Royal Gymnasium in Iron Fist. Also, I wanna reset this beacon. There we go. Now we can get up to level 100 this way. Nice. A lot of skill points. Alright. I think Leather Master has to happen. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. So, I think Leather Master kind of just has to happen. Um, getting rid of that armor penalty is 
significant enough that it is going to be worth our time. Secondly... Let me double check to... Oh, how many splashes anyway? Uh, I think air... No, actually Starburst is going to be our best bet, I think. The Starburst doesn't work on Titans, but we can already kill Titans really fast. So let me just check the Dragons real quick. Whichever one they're weaker to, we're just going to keep pumping that. Oh, Hydros. You know, they have... They have Hydras listed as not fire resistant. I'm not reading these numbers backwards. I'd be very silly if I am. Hmm. This fire wasn't working before. Alright, so red dragons are fire immune, cold, and magic. So, air is our best bet. So funny enough, I think I need to move Morgan over, because we would get more benefit at this point out of, yeah, well, weirdly enough, I thought he becomes our most powerful caster. See, so that happens a lot. I don't, yeah, I don't know how Pup Queen, Lothati, and uh, whatever the knight's name was. I can check real fast. Um, oh, right. We didn't have a, a female this time. Well, either which way. And we still have enough skill points across the board. It's still November. Still on track to beat this in under a year. I think I'm going to try to beat it on December 28th. Uh, just to get one year as close as I can. Just to do it that way. Uh, pretty powerful. Um, yeah. So we need to get, well, actually, funny enough, we're actually right where we need to be to do the next quest. So in the time, for the time being, we are going to put a pause right here. And next time I'm going to pick up, uh, maybe farm a little bit just to burn some time. And then we should be beating the game. All right. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.